everyone, it's Marcy Denning here. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Ontario, Canada. Thank you for pressing play today on the video. Um, I am here with the Creating Kindness uh, Design Team's video hop. This month our focus is on color and I chose the uh, color pink to create my card around because pink is my favorite color and I just love to create with it. The card we're going to create today is this uh, pretty pink card using the Southern Serenade stamp set from the Occasions catalog. Um, I'm using this image here and then I'm using the sentiment from the Your Inspiring um, stamp set. The uh, Kind Thoughts for You is this sentiment here but I'm going to be using the happy birthday for today's card. So to get started I have a piece of shimmery white cardstock that um, I have cut to four by five and a quarter. Now all of my measurements will be on my blog www.stampinwithmercy.com so I'm just going to pull in a piece of uh, paper towel and I've got my aqua painter here and um, some melon mambo and pink pirouette. They're re-inkers and what I'm going to do is just put a couple drops of each on a clear block to uh, pick up my color from. I'll use a little bit more of the pink pirouette because it is so light. Now to get the um, this type of look, I'm not going to paint it across my card front. I am going to first wet my card front. I've got my aqua painter here and it's got water in it and I am just going to wet my card front here. So that way the um, ink will disperse more evenly and easily. So then I'm going to first pick up my pink pirouette and just drop it onto. And you can see because there is quite a bit of water on here already. You can see how it is the water that's already on the card front here is uh, pulling that color in different directions. So oh, I'm really liking the way that's dispersing. Okay, so then I've got another paper towel that I'm just going to wipe off the excess onto. Now, like I said, we are part. I'm part of the Creating Kindness uh, video hop. So, please click on the links below to check out all the other design team members' um, projects. See what they're creating with this month's theme. Um, if you like what you see, please give us a like, comment on our videos. Uh, we love to interact with you. So to, as you can see, it's starting to run off the paper here. So I'm just taking the edge of a paper towel and touching it. And it's going to absorb up a bunch of that water. And you can also pick up your cardstock and kind of move it because it's got water still on it you can move that around and every time you do one of these effects it's going to look completely different so I'm going to set that aside to dry and I actually have another one here that I prepared earlier bring that in. So this is the one that I had 
done earlier. So you can see that each time you do this, you get a completely different and unique look. I really like that look. Now for my main image, I have stamped the flower in the um, clear Versamark, and then I have embossed it with clear embossing powder. And um, I uh, am going to paint it in with my aqua painter. I'm gonna paint in the colors with um, the same colors that I used, the Melon Mambo, the um, Pink Pirouette, and then for my stem, I'm going to, and the leaves, I'm going to use the uh, Pear Pizzazz. So I've just squeezed the color onto the lid of my ink pad and I'm just going to pick some up. I'm going to touch my aqua painter to a piece of paper towel here just to get some of the excess water out of it. And then just come on here and paint it. Now all of the products I'm using today can be purchased in my online store um, www.stampinwithmarcy.com. I do appreciate your business. If you are in Canada and do not have a demonstrator already, I would love to uh, be your demonstrator. Now I've gone outside the uh, line here, so I'm just picking up some of that color with my aqua painter after I've cleaned it off. Just like that. Okay, so then I'm going to give all of the flowers a light covering with the pink pirouette. It is a little more difficult to color in when I am reaching, trying not to hit the uh, camera. Okay, and I see I've missed one little spot here that needs the green, so I'm just going to go back in and color that. Okay, and now I'm going to use my Malamombo, the darkest color, and I'm going to center it around the inside and then just try to pull it out. With watercolor, and you don't need to um, color everything 
in, you can leave some areas the lighter. It's completely up to you. I'm just coming in and adding a touch of color here and there, lightening it or darkening, however I want it to appear on my appear on my card. Just like in nature, flowers aren't the exact same color generally on the plant. They have lighter and darker areas. Because we're working with water, you can lighten it up, push that color around. And because I have first heat embossed with the clear, the uh, color is not sticking to that because it's embossed. And then afterwards, I can take a tissue and wipe that off. There, I think I like that. As you can see, they're all just slightly different color. my ink pads here so I don't make a mess. Now I am going to fussy cut this out with my paper snips. So I am just going to rough cut around rather quickly here. Get rid of that excess. I don't need that getting in my way. And I'm just going to have a little edge around and you can see I'm turning the paper not my scissors that will give you a nicer cut rather than a choppy <clears throat> excuse me you want nice clean edges And just like the watercolor, and this is a little more difficult when I'm got the camera in my way. So but I wanted to show you how easy it actually is to fussy cut. It doesn't take a whole lot of effort, and it really can make your project pop when you have cut out that image.
And there we have it. Just like that. Easy peasy. Okay, so I am now going to assemble my card. Bring in my bone folder. My base is pink pirouette and it is eight and a half by five and a half and it is scored at four and a quarter and then I have my um, melon mambo and it is four and an eighth by five and three eighths Here is my dried shimmery white that I watercolored on earlier. You want to make sure you use enough adhesive, whatever type you use when you're using um, watercolor paper that you have done a watercolor wash on because it has um, curled a bit with the water, so you want to make sure you've got enough on there to hold those um, sides down. Make sure it's a good, strong adhesion to your card base. Okay, and then I am going to take a little bit of snail on the back here and then I'm going to take some silver metallic thread here and uh, wrap about a bunch of times here and then because I've already put the um, snail on the back here, then you just, once you've wrapped it, see, look at that. Okay, now I'm gonna take some dimensionals, pop them on the back. I like the way that the metallic thread is sometimes I pull it off and want to uh, readjust if I don't like the way that it's coming around. Now for this sentiment, I'm going to do the happy birthday. So I've just got another little strip of my um, shimmery white and I am going to stamp in pear pizzazz the happy birthday. I always take a look after I have um, inked it to make sure that I've got even coverage on my uh, stamp. Okay, and then I want to flag the end of it. I have my Taylor Tag Punch. So let's go here. I'm just going to slip it in all the way to where I see that my word ends. So then I'm just gonna push it, pull it back out just a smidge. And there we go. Okay. So then I'm gonna decide where I want it on my card front. And I'm gonna take my snips and just figure out how much I wanna snip off there. Let's straighten that line just a bit. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. Stick that down, then peel the backing off of my dimensionals. There we go. 
now I have to do one more thing to my card before it is officially done. I'm going to take my Wink Costella glitter pen and give it a little spritz here just by tapping on it. You can see that it's just adding that little bit more sparkle. And there we have it. Thank you so much for coming by today. Please check out everybody else that is part of our uh, blog and video hop. Um, again, www.stampinwithmarcy.com. Um, subscribe to my channel. Give uh, my video a like. Um, check out the uh, other design team members and have a super day. Bye.